edges is done my hair is done today my hair is done who gonna tell me different I'm waiting hi it's me Kennedy again welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome back to my channel if you have been subscribed there are now 3,000 of us and I'm so grateful like this is not something that I saw myself reaching so fast obviously I had set goals but y'all have far exceeded my expectations and I appreciate that <laughs> by the time this video is uploaded I will officially be eight months locked um I freshly washed my hair today and moisturized it but I'm not doing a retwist which I'll get to later on in the video but this is what my hair is looking like right now from far away mm, she cute <laughs> here's what it's looking like close up So, so far this journey has been amazing um, and in this video I wanted to give an update on a couple of things that I'm going to be changing in my lock routine in addition to advice that I have for people who are, it could be advice for anywhere you are in your journey, starting out midway, been locked up and you just need a reminder. <laughs> I just had a couple of things I wanted to share slash get into my own brain and I wrote them down because we need reminders so the first tip that I have if you're no matter where you are at in your journey to be honest because I have to remember this also is do what works for your hair and that's including your routine how often you wash your hair all that the products that you use do what works for you like <laughs> It can be so easy to get caught up in all the recommendations and all the routines and things like that. But at the end of the day, if you're so committed to a routine that you're like mimicking from someone else that doesn't actually work for you, what's the point of you doing it? This especially is true for me when it came to washing my hair. Um, I work out literally like three times a week. Sweaty workout. Good workout. <laughs> but in the beginning, I was like, Seeing people talk about only washing their hair every three weeks or something like that, and I was like, that ain't gonna work for me. And so I was scared at first, but I was washing my hair every week. Y'all not finna have me scabby, scaly, itchy, like, no. <laughs> and that worked for me. That might not work for everyone, but that's personally what worked for me. As my locks matured and as my like I corrected my own scalp problems, I was able to then stretch it to like once a month or twice a month. But again, doing what works for me. Even now, if I figure out that my scalp is having a problem or I feel like it's having a problem, guess what I'm gonna do? Go back to washing once a week or once every other week again. No playing. <laughs> the second tip that I have for people, no matter where you are at in your lock journey, is to not only embrace every stage, but just like speaking life into your locks. When I watched a bunch of videos before I started, people talk a lot about like the ugly stage. And I never spoke that over myself. Like obviously your locks are going to be in stages, whether you're like at the starting stage, the budding phase etc but like I literally have never once called my locks or said that my locks are in the ugly stage because that's not something that like I want for myself or that I even think about my hair like no matter how frizzy my hair has gotten or even when I first started and I was like where's all my hair at I look bald headed I never was like my hair is ugly I said that my hair might be going through something right now <laughs> 
but it's not ugly at all and that's kind of like defeats the purpose of how we think about our locks like how we view our locks and so with that i always like to speak life into my locks i know someone said name them or name a couple and i was like that's super funny i haven't named any yet i don't know if i'll name them but i like to make sure that i at least like just speak on the future with them and like my future with them there's been times where i'm like not even looking at a picture or anything for inspiration i'm literally just thinking sitting here and i'm like when i get married my locks are finna be so bomb or like when i have a baby i'm gonna wear my locks like this they just about to be ooh, and i'm very far away from both of those things but <laughs> it's great just to like have that future bond with your hair and like speaking positivity into that and acknowledging that like y'all have a future together that sounds so cray cray but i'm being serious <laughs> in addition to speaking life into my hair i like to just move with intention when i do my hair most times especially during like the washing and the moisturizing process i don't know how to explain it but like stuff really hits different when you move with intention while you're doing it and when i say move with intention i'm not even talking about like just mentally i'm talking about physically too so when i'm washing my hair i like to use like firm hands or like a little bit of firm pressure with my hands because i'm like you're gonna be clean you're gonna feel so good when you're clean this is gonna feel so amazing and then when i'm oiling my hair i'm moisturizing my hair i'm making sure that i'm like putting a good i'm not saying wring its neck but <laughs> i make sure that i'm putting like a good amount of pressure on your hair like for me if i'm just like we done it doesn't really feel like i did anything but i know if i put like that ritual behind it and i actually put some pressure on it i'm like yes we're moisturized yes we're clean yes we're shiny yes we're about to look good and that really helps me not only bond during the process but also like take joy and pride in doing my hair myself when i was loose natural and i'm like in the shower washing my hair all i could think about was how ready i was to get out the shower like when i was combing my hair was i gentle to it all the time like sometimes i might have been but other times yeah i was just ready to get it over with so also like not treating your hair that way like love on yourself a little bit <laughs> Another tip that I have is to keep it cute, but keep it easy. Like y'all have seen in some of my videos, I do style occasionally, but all my styles are like simple. I haven't really done any super duper updos or anything like that. And not because I don't find them nice or cute or whatever, it's just like, <laughs> I wanna be easy. The whole reason why I started this journey was to like alleviate the stress that I felt like was associated with my hair. Like always having to have my hair done, making sure that I look on point, waking up early to do my hair, having an attitude when it don't turn out right. Now I'm like, if it don't turn out right, it's gonna turn out like something. It might turn out left, but I'm still rock with it. <laughs> so keeping it cute, but keeping it easy. And in my opinion, if my edges is done, my hair is done. Today, my hair is done. Who gonna tell me different? I'm waiting. The next tip I have, tips four and five are really like intertwined with each other, but is to trust the process. When I first started out, I can't even tell y'all how many one year lock journey updates, six months, five months, four months videos I watched. And I was like gearing up to get to that stage. But then when your three month doesn't look like their three month, you might start to feel some type of way. And I'm like, well, am I doing it right? Like what's going on but in reality i'm just not trusting the natural process that my hair is going to do when it wants to do it which is going into tip number five which is like other people can be a blueprint so to speak but you literally build your own foundation when i first started i was like i want mine to look like hers how many twists she got like trying to figure out the amount of twists that people have and trying to like mentally map out how my twists were gonna look and so when i started i was so convinced i needed over 100 locks and so i started twisting and i was like you said 100 <laughs> just because i wasn't liking how obviously your hair is gonna be thin when you first start but i wasn't liking how thin my hair was looking and i was like well will this really give me medium locks and so literally doing the process of me twisting i was like i'm not even thinking about a number i'm just gonna twist it feels good until i feel like i have like you know an even amount of hair in each twist and that's just gonna be it 
And so I know that we can, I still do it occasionally. Like we can get caught up in how other people's hair might look and the routines that they use and things like that. But like ultimately you literally build your own foundation. You are you, no one else's locks will look like yours and your locks won't look like anyone else's. Um, speaking of that, a lot of people ask me about my hair color. This is literally like, a <laughs> literally a faded out color it's not a custom color i dyed my hair honey blonde like this kiss honey blonde color i think um in summertime of last year which i'll put a picture like somewhere over here and then a week or two before i locked my hair i dyed my hair red with like a rinse you know like the adores for my permanent dyes i used i think amber red amber and crimson or something like that i'll put the actual names in the description box below but this is just the faded out color from that. It's not like a honey blonde or anything like that. It's literally just your hair grew out. That's the custom color. Even with that, I also have to think about, like with me being me, I have to think about how long my retwist will realistically last. I remember watching people's videos thinking that like your retwist was gonna last until your next wash and retwist. The only time I've had that happen was when I went to the optician to get my hair done. Um, and even at that point, I was like, my hair is still coiled up. Like, I was getting nervous. I'm like, my hair is still coiled up. <laughs> What's happening? Because usually I'm like a toddler. By day five or something, after I'd been to the gym and working outside, my retwist be like, peace out, then leave. Whatever, how that song go? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I had to acknowledge that like, my retwist might not look like y'all's retwist. So I'm going to just make sure that I'm doing the best retwist that I could do. With that, I also have like how your hair will look after you eat retwist so this is my hair without a retwist and it like looks like i have a lot of new growth i feel like but to me it's not that much i remember when i went to the salon to get my hair done um i usually retwist every month and she's like what's the last time you retwisted and i said oh last month it might have been like last month in a week give or take because i didn't want to do my hair before i came here and I said, why does it not look like it? And she said, no, it doesn't feel like it. And I was like, everybody here feel the same after a retwist? Like, <laughs> I'm confused. Or when they don't retwist, like I was so mystified by that. And again, none of our hair is the same. Like obviously there are some markers and we could say like, okay, I know I have dry hair because this is how her hair looked and it was dry. But ultimately, again, you are you. So with that, I have a couple things that I'm about to incorporate into my routine or simply go back to. One of those is going back to basics. Like I need to be how I was when I first started. I'm talking about spraying my hair every day or at least every other day with water, not getting lazy with that. Um, oiling my scalp at least two times a week or you know, adding oil to my hair two times a week, making sure that my hair is moisturized. Cause that's like, that's how I was in the beginning. I was. No. Um, in addition to that, I think I might stretch my retwist. I'm not sure. I feel like in the past couple months I was doing a lot of styling and the styles weren't super tight. Like if you actually met me in person, it might look like I got my hair done and pictures and stuff. But if I do a ponytail, like a slick ponytail or something like that, or even a braid out or braids, I take it down that same night. I get my pictures and then we're done. Cause I hate my hair like being pulled now, like my edges and stuff being pulled. So I might stretch my retwist. Um, it might not be like two months or something. It might not even be a full month sometimes, but like it's okay for your hair to have a break. That's the whole purpose of having locks. Like we're trying to experience our hair in its most natural state. So I don't even need to do too much to like mess with that. Another thing that I'm also gonna focus on is hair protection. I'm at home majority of the time um, and I have a really bad habit of like leaning my head against the wall. You know how you just plop onto your pillow and you're like, oh, I'm just here vibing. Um, but when you have cotton that can make your hair dry. I also usually, emphasis on usually, <laughs> sleep with my hair in a scarf or a bonnet but sometimes I get lazy or like I might go somewhere and forget my scarf or bonnet so I actually bought two satin pillowcases this is probably not even satin but regardless I bought two satin pillowcases one for my house so like if I do want to plop down you better plop that on that pillow and then one for if I'm traveling you know that way if I forget my bonnet or something got that pillowcase though I also want to do more hair wraps like 
I have realized that I've worn hats during my lock journey, but I can say that I've literally only worn a head wrap twice, maybe three times during my entire lock journey. And I don't know why, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know that's what I want to get more into I want to buy some more maybe I should do a video on that like buying some making some I can't sew so it'll just be like me getting raw fabric or something um but making sure that I use that especially as we get into the colder months I might be moving somewhere that's very cold um for a short while and when I'm out there I want to make sure that I'm protecting my hair so that it's not super dry and not looking lifeless but that is all I have for you all today. Thank you once again for joining me on this journey. I can't wait for the next couple of months um, for my one year, you know, photo journey video <laughs> for y'all to start y'all journeys and for us to just grow together even more. Hope y'all have an amazing day after watching this, amazing night, amazing evening. I don't know y'all business, whatever y'all doing. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch back up with y'all later and see you in the next video. Bye.